Hey guys, so back to the milling machine and trying to make some parts. Um, right now I'm going to be <clears throat> making a TTS tool holder. Uh, I think it holds 18 TTS holders and 14 ER20 collets. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do this as a time lapse because it's like 30 degrees out here and I'm going to turn on a torpedo heater, which is extremely loud, so um, the audio will be bad anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I'll get to the machining. Thanks. Hey guys, so the part is done, and as you can see right here, uh, at the last minute I decided that I would try to face it, and it was taking off a lot of material over here, but not a whole lot under here. So I put the parallels back under the workpiece, and I think because I have all of this stick out, I think on this side it actually tilted the piece just just enough um, on some of these other cuts. And I don't know if you'll see in the time lapse, but it it drug here and then drug here, and then it was fine for the rest. <clears throat> um, but I think because it did. Uh, push this side down just a little bit and I noticed that I had some some pull out on the tool as well so and that was my fault for not tightening this enough so this is actually cut it a taper so I'll have to fix this <clears throat> to get the parts or the TTS tool holders to actually fit but overall, um, this is really my first project on here, so I don't think it's too bad. Um, I'm still getting used to the speeds and feeds. Um, I was getting a bit of chatter <coughs> on here, on the inside of these, of all of these holes. And I'm going to try to get those cleaned up so that the tool holders will slide in, because I dimensioned... I'd have to look at the drawing to be sure, but I'm pretty sure I dimensioned it at uh, 0.76, which the top is, but the bottom is coming in at 0.72 for some reason. And it's not like <clears throat> this is a tapered end mill or anything. Um, the head should be trammed, um, but... Either way, I'll keep playing with it. Um, this is still running on Mach 3. I am still working out the wiring to convert over to the Mesa 7i 76E. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna order a VFD because I also got a new three horse um, spindle motor to replace uh, the one that's currently there. But um, overall, uh, I can't say that I'm not pleased, and I'll be making a lot more chips. That's, uh, that's what that pile is <clears throat> right here, is all the chips just from this one project. And I didn't use flood coolant or coolant of any sort because my floors in my shop are polished <clears throat> so I don't want it I don't want the coolant staining the floors so I need to work up some sort of temporary 
solution um, while I design an enclosure, but I'll get something figured out. All right, anyways, thanks for watching.